happy early V day is coming up. So this video is going to be a video on health. It's going to be about sexual tips. Sexual tips, okay? Sexual stuff to enhance your sexuality, mainly for men. I'm going to give you some of the old stuff, some of the new stuff that's out there that's out there to help out you you men improve your sexual performance. So it's a it's a male enhancement video and um um you know I look into this stuff, so you know, um, I study a little bit about health, as you all know, a little bit of my channel is about health, um, so yeah, so let's get into it, how to improve your sexual health, well, first of all, you know, when it comes to anything in life, there's nothing like the good old basics, right, you always return to the basics, and for sexual health, or health in general, in general, um, you have to try and get some exercise, okay? So we all know that already, right? Uh, exercise and a good diet. Now, for men especially, it's all about blood flow. For women too. For women, it's about blood flow because they need to get, um, you know, um, secretion in the vagina. Vaginal fluids have to get going and for men it's all about the blood vessels expanding because that's what an erection is um, the blood vessels getting gorged with blood and it causes the uh, penis to expand so if it's all about blood flow things like exercise will help because that increases your cardio your endurance and it will increase blood flow um, Okay, um, there's also some supplements, you know, it's V-Day coming up, right? Let her have the milk chocolate. You have the dark chocolate. Dove bars are good. I got myself a bourbon vanilla. Let her have the milk chocolate. Dark chocolate, guys, will um, is good for blood flow. It's also about nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a gaseous, it's a gas actually, in your vessels that helps transport blood. And, you know, through wear and tear, through wear and tear, through, you know, through the normal aging process, through wear and tear is why blood vessels don't expand as much, blood flow doesn't go through, and nitric oxide levels are low. So while you let her have the milk chocolate, you make sure you have the dark chocolate. Dove bars are always good. Always go for the best. You know, if I had a choice to pick Hershey's over Dove, Dove. It's just a better quality of dark chocolate for you guys. Then also, some other things, you know, there's nothing like the good old L-arginine. L-arginine. It's an amino acid that, it's a nitric oxide precursor, actually. It says it right on there. And um, this stuff works. This thing will put lead in the pencil rather quickly in about a week. You know, the best way to take them is um, with a carbohydrate type drink. Anything that has some carbohydrates in it. So not water. You know, um, I'll take it with some uh, iced tea or um, ginger ale. If you guys drink things like Sprite, something with carbohydrates in it. Okay. And about 2,000 milligrams a day is pretty good. This is 500, so you would take four of these per day. Then, if you want to finesse it a little bit, you got to get some maca root. This is one of those old, ancient roots. Um, it's for reproductive health. It's one of those old, ancient roots that have been proven over time to work. Um, okay, and you guys, you have to experiment a little bit with yourselves, you know, um, you know, when you're younger, you don't really need much, you know, the wind blows and you're up, right? You know, the thought of it and you're up. But at, as you get up there a little bit, um, it's not always the same. So you have, you, you have to, 
use these kind of things, you know, from a mental standpoint, also like, don't watch pornography too much because that does something in your mind with dopamine. Um, you know, it, 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 once you give it that kind of a dopamine rush, it wants more. Porn is kind of like, think of it like you go to the casino and you're playing slot machines, right? And you're hitting and you're hitting it and it's all these colors and lights and everything. And you're getting a dopamine rush. Dopamine is a chemical in your brain that um, it excites the brain. It's like the excitement chemical. And when you're at a casino and you're pressing this and you're pressing this, you want to see more, uh, you know, figures, the bonus round come up. You want this because your brain now wants more. It's the same thing if you watch pornography. You're looking for that next exciting scene, that, that one. Now that doesn't excite you anymore. You want another one and another one and another one. And so you keep watching it because you're now becoming desensitized to stuff. And so you guys have to be careful with that pornography stuff. It could desensitize you to the real thing. Now, of course, you know, in 98, 1998, they invented um, Vialis, Vialis. I was going to say Vialis and Ciagra. That's, that's good, huh? Cialis and Viagra came out and that will work that is no doubt you know that works in because it's a drug and it will you know open up those blood vessels it's a drug some men can't take it if you have problems with hbp things like that you are not supposed to take you're not supposed to imbibe um when you uh take that you know um, things like that. So you're not supposed to imbibe things like that. So some of the new therapies that are out these days, you know, and, and, you know, I like to say all the good things cost, right? Um, there's some new stuff out there in the health field for increasing male performance. It's not just Viagra and Cialis. Okay. Um, they have like, um, there's, they're doing some things with stem cells where they, um, I don't know if they inject stem cells in, in you or something like that. I didn't really pay attention too much to that one, but the other two are very interesting. One is shockwave therapy and it's acoustic therapy. So what they do is, um, you go to a place, I think it's like 250 a session. You're recommended to get half a dozen to a dozen sessions, but, um, you know, it's, they create a mini trauma with a device. It's like a shock wave, you know, um, waves, like a wavelength to your private part. And they create mini trauma that then creates more blood vessels and rejuvenates the blood vessels that you have. So you're like, kaboom you know, get ready to, um, perform like, like an adult performer, but for real in real life, you know? Um, so they have that, that sounds interesting because it's non-invasive, non-invasive. There's no side effects, no pain, no bruising. Um, it's affordable for the most part. Um, you know, it's not a drug that you're taking through your mouth. It's not an injection. You know, it's non-invasive. It is a, they create like a mini trauma through waves. And then, um, you know, um, you get results. Okay. So uh, it's called shockwave therapy. Um, I don't think it's that new. It's new, but it's not that, that new. It's been out. And then they have another thing. Some people do a combination of the shockwave therapy and they get a PRP shot. Um, and PRP stands for plasma rich. I forget what the last P is for. I want to say protocol, but I don't think it's that. But basically what they do is they take blood, usually out of your arm, like they would a regular blood sample, and they put it in a centrifuge. And they add, 
something to it. I think it's calcium. Don't quote me on this. Calcium something to it. And it makes the blood plasma rich. And so basically when this blood, they use it to insert it back into you and it tricks the body into thinking it's injured and it starts the healing process really fast. And it's called a PRP shot. The Priapus shot is the name. And you get it down there. Like I said, some people do this, a combo thing with the shockwave therapy. Uh, it's more expensive than the shockwave. I would only go shockwave if you guys are a little bit up there and want to um, try this. You know, not in invasive is always the best route first um, so they do that they stick it in there and um, they numb you up first with a numbing gel they inject it into that organ down there and um, it rejuvenates the blood cells also the body is being tricked into this super healing process because it's injured so and from what I've been reading it works wonders um how often you got to get it? i think it's once a season possibly uh depending you know I'm, I'm sure you get monitored along with the um um practitioner and so yeah um but you know so you do that and um it's always it's always um it's always um, better to try like the basics first. Like I said, always go back to the basics. And then if you're having trouble, if you do the shockwave therapy and the other, the PRP shot, and it, there's also an O shot for women, same concept with the plasma, with the plasma rich blood into the vaginal walls and it gives them the ability because not all women can get like an orgasm it gives them the ability to have an orgasm and a super orgasm at that so you know explosive times you know if you guys ever tried it is and you guys could google this and search it i found it you know shockwave they do have it somewhere near you um so being that V-Day is coming up and um, some of us may be avoiding, right? There's the old joke of the average person who says, this is the time not to have somebody so I don't have to get them anything, right? And then there's going to be a lot of people getting some tomorrow, you know? So, um, you know, keep that in mind. Shock the world a little bit. Shock and awe, right? Um, <laughs> or shock her a little bit. But anyway, you know... Um, it's important for your health so these were some just sexual health tips that um that i've learned throughout the years the most important thing out of all this is nitric oxide remember that it's a gas you can google it that allows blood to, to flow through your blood vessels in the most optimal way so it's all about improving nitric oxide you have to find ways to prove there's foods for that um, foods that are more optimal for that. Of course, exercise improves it. Dark chocolate, the ingredients in dark chocolate, um, things like that. So there's also other, um, other uh, supplements. There's pycnogenol. Um, there's reservatrol. You know, you don't need to imbibe red wine in order to get it. You can get reservatrol supplements. Um, so there's all these things. So yeah, guys, you guys um, be good out there. Look to impress. Get a ready. Get ready. Like I said, use some of these tips. And you will be all right. This is Rafi West. Try some of these. Stay away from the milk chocolate. Dark chocolate. I'm telling you guys, lead in the pencil. Take care, everybody. Peace. Mm -mm -mm.